This ranking is based on the play score, a standard rating that averages gamer reviews and critic reviews. Opening at number 15 of our top 15 PS Vita platformers is Child of Light. Ubisoft Montreal takes you into a fantasy world of Lemuria. It's unlike most platformers, and it's centralized more on the turn-based RPG elements. Child of Light is a magical adventure of the Princess Aurora and her friends to restore a decaying kingdom caused by an evil queen. This game is heavily inspired by classic fairy tales and medieval mythos. Lead your group of innocent friends by showing your heavenly powers while speaking in rhymes. Its side-scrolling journey leads you to underground caverns, frozen mountains, and fiery volcanic areas with beautiful hand-drawn backdrops. To top it all off, it even has a gorgeous soundtrack. The game is pleasing at every glance, stopping you from the real-world mess and puts you into their captivating world. It has a play score of 7.85. Number 14 is Sound Shapes. Sony has a knack for visually stunning yet odd platforming games. Patapon took the world by storm with its adorable little Patapons. Loco Roco did a great job of the PlayStation Portable's right and left shoulder buttons, but Sound Shapes takes it to something different. Developed by Queasy Games alongside Sony Santa Monica, be a cute blob trying to overcome various obstacles on each level. It's powered by the musical beat, so you have to time your movements right to get ahead to the objective. The game is also supported by talented artists such as Beck, Dead Mouse, and so much more. Players can also customize their own levels and share it with other players from around the world. It has a play score of 7.89. Number 13 is Fez, a game that puts you into the fabric of space and time. It is a side-scrolling adventure that takes the players in a seemingly absurd journey between 2D and 3D worlds. Control your character as he traverses high towers and venture into unknown glitches in a serene open-ended world filled with multidimensional possibilities. After being randomly transported into another dimension, use your newly acquired abilities to control the world. Switch between 2D and 3D environments with the press of a button, and leap towards each level's goal. Reach the end of the journey and find out the meaning of reality and perception. It's an intelligent game with a brilliant game design, perfect for the PS Vita. It has a play score of 8. Number 12 is Guacamelee. This game is as Mexican as it can be. Follow a luchador named Juan and his adventures to the land of the living and the land of the dead to save El Presidente's daughter from the hands of an evil sorcerer. To save her, players must master the art of punching and grappling opponents. Unleash your luchador skills by creating consistent combos to smack and grab enemies to a pulp. Use the game's unique ability to travel between the living and dead worlds. It's a colorful platforming experience and it really takes Mexican culture to its creative form. It has a play score of 8.08. Number 11 is Stealth Incorporated 2, a game of clones. Pull off the great escape in this otherworldly stealth platformer. Lead your band of tiny robot clones out of a mysterious laboratory full of deadly obstacles and explosive guards to experience that sweet release. Unfortunately, not everyone's gonna make it. Allow your clones to help you solve the puzzles in each stage by opening doors, activating switches, and becoming unwitting sacrifices to laser beams and heavy objects. There's not time to mourn though, with drones and robotic dogs watching out for your every move. So lurk in the shadows and don't make a sound. If that's all a piece of cake to you, there's a level editor for you to create your own challenges and share them to the world. It has a play score of 8.14. Number 10 is Joe Danger 2, the movie. Our favorite Daredevil returns in this blockbuster-sized sequel to Hello Games' death-defying platformer slash racing game. Joe Danger makes a daring leap to Hollywood for more insane stunts in his first ever action movie. This time, sharks and rings of fire aren't the only problem anymore. Make the best Hollywood action movie as you evade the touch of death with laser-firing robots or survive the harsh climates of the snowy tundras and hostile jungles. Just another day for Joe Danger. To impress the director, finish its over 100 levels filled with danger at every side. The game is so enjoyable, it made everyone forget that this is the same company that developed No Man's Sky. It has a play score of 8.14. Number 9 is Rocket Birds Hard Boiled Chicken. There's something oddly foul about this game, if you know what I mean. Ratloop Asia's action platformer takes you to the shoes or foot of a badass chicken named Hardboiled Chicken. Yeah, you heard that right. He sets his mission to stop an evil penguin regime from breaking down society. The game is designed like a cinematic action film where chickens and animals fight for power. It's silly, but the gritty feeling of shooting evil animals as a chicken is a joy. There are tons of collectibles to find in the game and a fun coop, uh, I mean co-op mode to enjoy with your friends. It has a play score of 8.23. Number 8 is Oli Oli 2, Welcome to Hollywood. This sequel to the popular skating game from Roll7 makes another gnarly entry to the PlayStation Vita. This time, Hollywood is your playground. The subtle technical feats of the previous game have been tweaked to cater to new and experimental scenarios. 
the game boasts new combos, ramps, worlds, and levels of play for that daily grind. You can even play with a friend and skate to your heart's desire in its multiplayer mode. Aside from that, the game also features a trick book called the Trictionary to record and witness the various skating tricks you did. Its simple finger-flipping controls have been refined to the PlayStation Vita. Fans of the genre will truly be delighted. It's probably better than Pro Skater 5, as it has a play score of 8.26. Number 7 is The Swapper, a game that's as brilliant as it's complex. Facepalm Games' platformer puzzler takes science fiction into a world brimming with beautifully crafted puzzles and dark, haunting stations. Play as a scavenger trapped into its grim world. This game won the hearts of players and critics due to its unique gameplay element called swapping. This enables the player to swap his consciousness to the game's myriad of clones. Use this acquired ability to solve its complicated puzzles and survive in its eerie abandoned halls. The game's story is also deep and punctures the mortality and morality of your thought process. It's a remarkable game and has a darn good play score of an 8.47. Number 6 is Rayman Legends. When it comes to the trippiest platformers ever made by man, we're gonna have to say that Rayman always makes it to every list. Ubisoft's highest rated platformer makes a return after the breakthrough success of Origins. Step inside painting after painting and dazzle in its colorful visuals. Tons of surprises are still waiting in store for the players in each level. Engage in memorable boss fights and witness the creative use of platforming elements in a video game ever. Timing is essential in this game and the difficulty remains a constant challenge for young and old players. If anyone's looking for some co-op fun, grab a friend and jump, leap and roll in its psychedelic wonder. It has a play score of 8.52. Number 5 is Oddworld AIDS Odyssey. New and tasty. This ground up remake of the popular 1997 game makes its way to modern generation platforms. New and tasty delivers a smooth graphical overhaul to the life and times of the iconic Mudokons. Follow Abe and his adventure to save his entire species from impending genocide. The game remains the same just like the original, with the exception of the added difficulty setting. Help Abe as he collects Mudokons and escapes from Rapture Farms. Solve tons of puzzles in side-scrolling fashion and stop impending obstacles from blocking your path. The more Mudokons you get, the more chances you get the good ending. The lesser, well, you know what happens. It has a play score of 8.53. Number 4 is Bitrip Presents Runner 2, Future Legend of Rhythm Alien. Yeah guys, that's the actual name of the game. It's like taking random words out of a hat. Coming from the same game called BitTrip, players run around maps accompanied by the joyful sound of music while trying out new moves and traversing new areas. For a musical platforming game, it's the first to deviate from the classic BitTrip games. The 3D environments make everything so surreal, and it fills the players with trance in every step of the way. The game has over 5 different worlds. These worlds make up for a unique experience in every run. Aside from that, the cutscenes are voiced by Mario. It's a fantastic running platformer that mesmerizes players in every learning curve. It has a play score of 8.58. Number 3 is Shantae Half Genie Hero. WayForward's leading platforming game makes its way to the PlayStation Vita. Follow Shantae and her friends as she saves her town from mysterious dark magic. Use Shantae's damage dealing hair to whip enemies back and forth. Players can also transform her into different animals to solve the game's puzzles. The game is so colorful it feels like you're watching a cartoon. This is the fourth game of the Shantae series, but this is the first to ever showcase high-definition visuals and smooth gameplay designs. Enjoy its unique levels while listening to the game's groovy tunes. Its DLC adds new characters to the journey, including Risky, Shantae's rival. It's an eye-popping platformer and has a play score of 8.61. Number 2 is Tearaway. When it comes to platforming, PlayStation Vita users will never forget to talk about Tearaway. It's their most beautiful exclusive making it a staple of next-generation platforming in the years to come. It's charming, delightful, and isn't afraid to touch your heart. In a paper-filled world, guide your hero as he sends an important message to you. It's a page-turning experience once you get to know the game's story, with a flurry of beautiful imaginations. Unleash the potential of your imagination. Using the PS Vita's touch and gyro controls, solve puzzles in the most creative of ways. It's PlayStation 4 version, Tearaway Unfolded has also made records, but this game has a play score of 8.76. And here are the runners up before we reveal the number one. Limbo. Embark on a gloomy journey to a monochromatic world developed by Playdead Studios. Help a young boy reach his destination by solving physics-based puzzles or escaping from hideous creatures. It has a play score of 7.84. Tales from Space, Mutant Blobs Attack. 
this side-scrolling platformer oozes with personality and casual fun. Be a blob and solve various puzzles with the help of your slimy form. It has a play score of 7.83. Nihilumbra, as emo as it could be. This dark puzzle platformer lets you take control of form. Plagued with a curse, escape from the darkness with the use of PlayStation Vita's touch controls. It has a play score of 7.79. Dust Force, a game about badass janitors. Sweep up tons of colorful levels and roam through a myriad of user-generated worlds. It has a play score of 7.78. Murasaki Baby, wake up in a weird world and escape from this morbid fantasy that takes inspiration from Tim Burton's works. Use the Vita's touch controls to solve clever puzzles. It has a play score of 7.77. You may get these games right now by clicking the links below. And of course, the best PlayStation Vita platformer is none other than Shovel Knight. Plow your way through the castle halls in Yacht Club Games' universally acclaimed platformer. Return to the days of old and witness retro gaming come back to life. Control a brave shovel-wielding knight as he digs deeper into the confines of an evil castle. Use his trusty shovel to defeat enemies, solve puzzles, and defeat an evil enchantress. All in the name of love. The game is a record-breaking success. It's the only indie game to garner the respect of players and critics with its successful Kickstarter campaign. It's out on almost every modern generation platform, and by each release, they never disappoint. Its two expansions, Plague of Shadows and Spectre of Torment, are a wonderful addition to this 8-bit retro adventure. This is how you make a Kickstarter campaign. Take note, game developers, because it has a play score of 8.81. Thank you to these awesome contributors from around the world who helped us translate our videos to their respective languages. If you want to take part in the growth of our What to Play community, please translate your favorite What to Play videos to your language. Simply click that More button below and select Add Translations. We publish four gaming videos every week. Don't miss any of them. Click that bell button beside subscribe, check the send me box, and save. Don't forget to like and share this video to your friends. To receive the latest play score and gaming updates, follow us on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and Google+.